Now, we've seen many videos on composition of functions, the first method which was substitution method. But now, in this video, we are going to see the another method called as chain rule or chain method to solve the derivative of composition of functions. We start with a simple question which was asked in the year of 2003 in CBSE previous board year examination. The question says differentiate with respect to x for the function log x plus root a square plus x square. Now when you are asked to differentiate with respect to x, definitely x is there into consideration is fine but what about a square? a square or b square will be always treated as constants because they are nowhere mentioned that there are variables, right? Now, you see that chain rule is what? Chain rule is nothing but what I called in the previous videos the bullet rule. That means you start seeing the function from this perspective that you have to see the leftmost corner. Then you keep on entering the function and you find and explore more variables or inward functions, inside functions and you differentiate one by one. If you still don't understand what chain rule is, let's start with the solution. Let's write the heading as a solution and let's name the function something. Let's say it is y is equal to log x plus under root a square plus x square. Now it's like that. Once we are done with the naming of the function, keep into mind that this is not substitution. You're not going to substitute the bracket as u or v. But you're directly going to start with dy by dx. That is what chain rule is all about. And what happens? Now you see and you enter the function. You see that this is something called as log x. The whole can be treated as x, right? So log x. What is the differentiation of log x? 1 by x. That means you're going to do 1 upon this whole x the whole value inside. But this is not the final answer. You started and you explored that there was log so you did reversal and reciprocal. But bracket is also there. If you have to take differentiation, you have to take differentiation of all the coming terms on your way. So you took that for log, now you have to take for the bracket. Now in the bracket, what is there? Let's see step by step and since it is the first question so I am just keeping it very simple by taking up only one differentiation at a time. So initially we did that for log x now we are going to do in the next step for the other bracket. Similarly just copy this part as it is and then you have to do differentiation of this term which is there. This is a whole term including the addition of two terms. What is the differentiation of the first term in the bracket? That means differentiation of x is 1 plus then you have to do after differentiation of this the differentiation of this. Since I have told you being the first question let's do it step by step. So that means earlier you did the differentiation of this thing x which gave you 1 now you have to do differentiation of this. How to do differentiation of this? Now suppose I had d by dx of under root x. We have already solved this in our previous videos. What was the answer to this? You remember we did it something like this. We say that it is equal to x raised to the power 1 by 2 because root is equal to the same thing. Right? Now x raised to the power n formula we used to apply which was n x raised to the power n minus 1. n minus 1 which is 1 by 2 x raised to the power minus 1 by 2. That means x raised to the power minus 1 by 2 can come downwards. So the answer was 1 by 2 root x. So that means if you have any question wherein the term has a root, wherein the term has a root, so the answer is 1 by 2 that term, that whole term as it is in the denominator. This term say was y, then this term is also y. So the answer is 1 by 2y in these cases. So this is a note point, this you should remember and directly now you can solve here. See, what happens? The thing that we learnt here, the thing that we learnt about the under root and its differentiation that we are going to apply here. If you have something called as the differentiation in case of root, you just have to do 1 by 2 and copy it downwards. So that is what we are going to do, 1 by x 
1 by x plus under root a square plus x square and bracket has 1 and this is nothing but like root x. So it is 1 plus 1 by 2, 1 plus 1 by 2 and the same thing copied all over again. But again, are we done with everything? Have we finished doing everything? No. Why no? Because even now, here it was only x. So the differentiation of x was 1. Hence, we multiplied by 1, which you cannot see, right? Because anything multiplied by 1 is the same thing. But here, what is there? Here, the differentiation of this inward term, a square plus x square, is not 1. a square is a constant, its differentiation is 0. But what about x square? It has some value. So what you're going to do is, again, you have to differentiate this thing, which is what? Which is a square plus x square. Root, you did for that, you did it 1 by 2. But what about the inward things? You didn't treat them till now. Right? So this is very important that you move onwards and you take everything step by step. Do not miss anything in between. Come here downwards then. 1 by x plus under root a square plus x square. Right? In the brackets is 1 plus 1 by 2 under root a square plus x square. Right? Now d by dx of whole thing. A square is a constant, its differentiation is 0. X square is nothing but treated by the same formula x raised to the power n. So the differentiation gives me 2x. Right? Now, see if some things cancel. 2 here, 2 here gets cancelled. Then you are left with 1 by x plus under root a square plus x square. Then you have bracket and it is 1 plus 1 into x is x by under root a square plus x square. I hope this is making sense. Now in the next step what you can do is you can take the LCM of all of this. LCM means here you can treat it as 1 and then you can take the LCM. So let's do it somewhere here only. Then it is 1 by x plus under root a square plus x square. Right? And then you take the LCM. So LCM is nothing but under root of a square plus x square and then you take the LCM it is nothing but x plus under root a square plus x square only x plus root a square plus x square see if some things cancels this and this is the same thing it basically cancels so it is nothing but the answer which is what let's write it here the answer is 1 upon under root a square plus x square as you can see it here so that is your answer to this question I have written answer two times so as to make it clear that this is the very answer so this was the solution done by chain rule for the CBSE question previous year examination question of the year 2003